are here at possibly one of the most haunted cemeteries in America. Not only what what the legend is, give us the sign you're here with us right now. But what's the history behind it? That's like the loudest blinker ever. It at all, there's gonna be because someone died there. That's the way ghost chasing goes. Hey guys, this is Jay Lo from Team Paranormal. And if you've seen our previous video, I showed this flashlight as one of our brighter bootleg setups, as I called it. This is an LED flashlight that I converted for infrared. This is what you need. You need, first of all, a flashlight that you can convert with. I bought these off eBay. It's 10 ohm, 5% quarter watt carbon film resistors, 100 of them. I paid like a couple dollars, maybe three bucks, something like that. Button batteries, you love to hate them, don't you? Well, this particular flashlight uses CR2032's. I got these off of eBay, 25 or 30 of them, for about $5. And I also bought either their 8 or 10 millimeter LEDs, infrared LEDs. I don't remember, but they are single chip, water clear. And this flashlight, which now uses only one button battery. I'm going to show you. It has the power on and off switch here. I'm going to take it apart and show you what I did. I just stretched the spring out for one so I can use one battery. This is bootleg. But it works. Here's a little glass, or plastic, should I say. Put that back in there. There you go, it's threaded. This originally housed six regular LEDs. Just a little, you know, molded deal that it had together. Well, I took that out, drilled a hole in the center, well, as close as I could in the center. Put this light through here. Did it like so. Let me see if I can focus. All right. This right here, that touches the bottom of the battery. I have a resistor in here, as I showed you previously. And this touches the, the outer wall where it's threaded inside the housing here. This way, that's the power and I can use the power switch to turn it on and off. So, like I said, it's really bootleg, but this light is quite bright, as I'm about to show you when I put it back together. Put that there. Here's the battery housing, which you need that. It originally had two batteries, as I said already, but you need this to hold the one so you don't have contact with the outer. So, and two, two batteries is too much. It put, puts out too much voltage. Because these are CR2032, they're three volt. And you'll get six volt by putting two batteries. Burn out your light. Let's see if I can get that in there. Alrighty. Looks like everything is a go. Screw this back on. See if it turns on. Yep. See that glow right there? This is an iPhone, so it's not going to pick up the light emitted from it. And that's all I see. It's just a little red dot. And I'll cut to the footage with my Samsung W190. It's been modified for full spectrum and I'll show you what the light looks like, how bright it is on that one. And I'll show you how bright it is on the JVC Pixio. 
and you'll see why the Samsung is better. This is a pretty bootleg, but it works really well. And bam! Oh wow, that's bright. Now this is an LED modified light. Uh, it's, it has been, like you said, bootleg modified, but uh, hey. <laughs> Works off of one button battery, and my only test that I did, I got 11 hours, and it wasn't even dead. It was about half dim Wow. with one button battery, because I did is... put a resistor on it, so it doesn't drain the battery so much. This is cheap paranormal right here, people. Wow, that's good light. There we go. Here we go. Bam. Yeah, that one is brighter. Yeah. But still, you know, nothing compared to that other camera. But, I mean, hey. <laughs> like I said, you probably have this stuff lying around the house. So, that is awesome. All right. There you go. I did a test with one battery. I recorded, left the light on. And the, the, the light was about half as bright after over 11 hours with one button battery. It's pretty good.